Good morning. My name is Maria Chiara Pastore. I'm from the Department of Architecture and Urban Studies from the Politecnico di Milano. This lecture is the first part of Principle of Urban Forestry Design, and I will speak about three key principles multifunctionality, multiscalarity, and transdisciplinary. Urban forests are recognized as providers of ecosystem goods and services that can be divided into provisioning services, such as clean air and clean water, food supply, material provision, regulating services, such as climate regulation, stormwater regulation, disease control, nutrient cycling, pollination, and fertile soils, and social services, such as well-being, cultural and spiritual benefits, and recreation. This range and flow of this benefit depend largely on biodiversity and ecosystem conditions. It is evident how the contribution of forest, trees, and green areas to the quality of urban life and to the environment can be significant. Urban forests can simultaneously provide several environment, ecological, sociocultural, and economic benefits. This ability can be described also as multifunctionality, that is to combine different functions and benefits provided to the urban environment and its inhabitant to enhance and multiply their capacity to deliver goods and services. The second principle is multiscalarity. Urban forest planning should be considered for different spatial levels, ranging from city regions to urban and above scale, aiming at linking different spatial scale with the above city regions. Multiscalarity means offering a flexible approach that can solve partially or completely some of the urban challenges and some of the main issues of our times. The multiscalar approach comes from the assumption that larger scale are an important asset to be investigated, and that is valid for the ecosystem as well as for the urban settlement. For private investors and for public institutions and administrations, multiscalarity also means ensuring the feasibility of the investment, guaranteeing the achievement of certain goals through defined investments. Promoting cross-boundary collaboration according to the different scales ensures also the establishment of multifunctional landscape resources. Working at different scales means also dealing with a different time frame. In ecology, for instance, local processes with small spatial impact happen at a fast temporal scale, which may be also the case for design and implementation of urban forestry and peri-urban forestry. Considering time of ecosystem or of plant and trees as a variable in the process, Establishing multiscalarity through high quality design, investment and management would be ideal to address both ecological and sociocultural needs of a local community, of a city, or an entire landscape with its peculiar ecosystems. The third principle that I would like to introduce is transdisciplinarity. Urban green infrastructure planning, specifically urban forestry design practice, is built on experts and practitioners from various disciplines and professional backgrounds. This multi-transdisciplinarity aims at linkages between science, policies, and practice, and integrates its knowledge from the different fields, such as forestry, landscape, ecology, urban and regional planning, landscape architecture, architecture, public health, education, and should be developed in association with local authorities, private and public stakeholders. This transdisciplinarity approach operates beyond the traditional sectorialization of disciplines and crosses planning boundaries. Even though the transdisciplinary approach is a key to a real change in how we conceive, design and plan our cities, there are still erroneous beliefs that see in this fragmentation a weakness in terms of lead and implementation. To effectively manage the design, planning, the development and the implementation, that there is necessarily a need for greater level of cooperation by different bodies, entities, institutions, stakeholders, and professionals, as well as a great number of scale. This does not mean that the design process follows a linear trajectory, but rather intertwined between disciplines and knowledge coming from different backgrounds to create a common ground of discussion under a shared holistic perspective.